Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. I am here with a wig transformation video for the first time in what feels like forever. I feel like it's been so long since I've done anything on my channel with wigs. I used to do a lot of wig videos, wig transformation, wig installs, wig reviews. I was really wigging out at one point. But then I kind of, you know, got into doing other things with my natural hair. And I don't know, I haven't been wearing wigs like I used to. Or when I do wear a wig, it's kind of like the same few wigs and it's like, that's boring. I'm not gonna post that on my channel. But today I am here with something new. Never before seen on me. It's definitely been seen before on other people. But let's just get straight to the point. We're gonna be working with this wig today. <laughs> this is the wig that we are going to be transforming, installing, and hoping that it looks good on me by the end of it. So quick backstory, this wig is from, it's gotta be from 2017 or 2018 when I first got this wig. And this is how it was sent to me. It was sent to me in this color. I did not do this color job. When I got it, I thought it was going to be like a true, well, not completely natural, but natural-ish looking ginger color. Like if I were to be born with red hair and maybe pump it up a notch with like a little bit of extra orange, that's kind of what I thought this was gonna look like. But alas, it is not a natural ginger red color at all. I literally brought an actual real orange for color comparison. It's literally like cutie orange. It is mandarin orange, not ginger but orange, which is a look in and of itself. I mean, orange hair is a look. So when I first got this wig, I wore it once, just like with regular makeup and regular clothes. And like, I feel like I kind of pulled it off, insert pictures here, you know, I made it work. And then I wore it again for a Halloween costume. I dressed up as Kim Possible. So yeah, for those of y'all who have not ever seen that, that was one of my more iconic costumes if I do sex on myself. So it worked really well for that. But after that, I really didn't wear it again because I was like, this is a bit much. So years later, I am deciding to try and revive her and repurpose her to actually create that true ginger color that I was really wanting in the first place. Because ever since then, I still have never had a ginger wig. I've never dyed my hair ginger. So I've never had my ginger moment. Here's a little close up of what it actually looks like right now. The roots are a little darker. And then there's like some variation throughout. There's some lighter pieces, some more vibrant pieces. This is a 100% human hair wig. It is a really nice lace front. It just looks raggedy right now because it's been sitting in storage for literally years. But this is the type of wig that you can really revive. You know, a deep conditioning treatment, style it up, reinstall it, it'll be good as new. So I'm not too worried about that. The only thing I'm worried about is the color. So I am going to be trying the watercolor method for the first time ever. Somehow I have made it this far in my life without ever trying this viral method of dyeing wigs. Basically what it entails is getting a bucket of hot water, taking your dye and mixing it into hot water and literally dunking your wig into the water as like a dip dye watercolor situation. And it just like, boom, colors the whole wig in one dip. So that's what I'm gonna be experimenting with today. This is the brand that I normally see people using for this method specifically specifically this Adore brand. I've never used this brand. I've never done dip dye. I've never had ginger hair. This is just Raven's Ratchet Salon, okay? I forgot to say that in the intro, but welcome to Raven's Ratchet Salon because we never know what's gonna really happen in these videos. So to get the ginger color that I wanted, I decided to order number 58, which is cinnamon, and number 56, which is Cajun Spice. I watched a lot of videos of people trying to do a ginger color. Cinnamon, Cajun Spice, and then another color called French Cognac were the three colors that I see people using most often. I even saw one girl, I'll insert some pictures or some footage here, and she just used cinnamon. This is the color that I'm going for. Something in this range, more brown, more deep, more rich, more kind of like natural looking. I don't want it to be super bright, vibrant, orange, unnatural looking. The thing is, obviously I'm starting with this bright orange and I'm coloring on top of bright orange. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I take the darker, more brown, 
brownish colors and put it on top of the orange, maybe it'll combine and create that happy medium. But I don't know. I really have no clue what's about to really happen. So we gonna see. So I'm just setting up my DIY wig stand, which is the stand for one of my lights, my softbox lights. Styrofoam wig head and I put it on like that and it makes a little wig stand because there's already a hole in the bottom of here. Sometimes it's like too wiggly and something you could do is like get a towel or a scarf or something and kind of like put it on there like that and then put it on so it's more of a tight fit. Then I'm gonna put my wig on here because the first thing I'm about to do is detangle this wig because I don't want to try and dye it while it's all tangly like this because then I already know I'm not gonna get like an even color. So I'm just going to pin her down and then I'm gonna spray some detangling spray just so I'm not like just ripping the hairs out the wig. And then I'm gonna just take this paddle brush and try to be gentle with it to get these tangles out. Like I said, this wig has just been sitting in a closet like Either it was balled up in a corner or it was in a bag or something for a couple years. So she's not in her best condition right now, but really not too bad, honestly. She a little crispy. She is a little crispy, I'm not gonna lie. But after I dye it, I am gonna do like a deep conditioning treatment on it to bring it back to life. Yeah, honestly, the dye job, oh no, I remember what happened with this wig. Flashback to 4th of July, I had this wig on because I think when I filmed the initial video, like 4th of July was like the next day, so I still had this wig on on 4th of July, which was like, I had bright orange hair and I was wearing red, white, and blue. Very tacky combination, but I had on a, <laughs> an American flag bandana and it started raining and the dye of the bandana bled onto the wig. I don't know if y'all can see like right here, there's like a little redness. I just remembered that. So hopefully I can kind of cover that up. There's like a stripe right here. She pretty thick. I'm pretty sure this is like a 200% density wig. She's thick. Now it's all detangled so we can move on to actually dyeing it. Okay, so I got my little setup here in the kitchen. I laid a towel down because I don't want to stain my counters. I have my plastic bin. I have an extra little towel, a brush, a comb, and my two hair dyes, which once again are the Adore number 56, Cajun Spice, and number 58, Cinnamon. I'm letting the water run right now to get as hot as it'll get. It's getting pretty hot already because you need hot, hot water for this. I've even seen some people use boiling water, but I feel like if it's too hot, that might mess up the integrity of the wig. I also saw on somebody's video where they took a piece of paper towel and like dipped it into their concoction to see kind of what color it came out with before they dipped the hair. So I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna fill this up with water. Okay, so I've got this bucket filled up about halfway with the hottest water that my sink will make. Now it's time to pour in the dye. This is where it starts getting scary. Let's just go for it. I'm gonna start with the cinnamon. Oh wow, I just don't really know like how much to put in, like how dark to make it, because I don't want the wig to just turn out like dark brown. Okay, that looks creepy. Why is it so, oh wow. It looks so creepy for some reason. Obviously I have to mix it up, but like look at the way the dye is sitting at the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty much almost the whole bottle. I probably should have started with half. I don't know why I just poured the whole bottle in there, but that's almost the whole bottle of this one. And then let me just stir this up first and see what happens. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be too dark. I guess I'll have to just like test it out. I wanna make sure that I whisk it up super, super good so that there's no chunks in there. I already know if that hits the hair, you're gonna have a big old dark spot on the hair. It's not gonna be even. It smells good. Okay, let me see. If I take a little paper towel and just dip it, like what color it comes out. Oh, oh, oops, I didn't mean <laughs> Okay, so that's what we're working with. Hmm. Hmm, it looks like, hmm. I don't know about this, you guys. Wait, what? I thought it was gonna be too dark. All right, well, let me make sure that I use this whole bottle. Should I, did I need like two bottles of this? So Cajun Spice, this is gonna be a little bit lighter and a little bit more red. I guess I should add some of this. 
bottle, but I feel like it's so like orangey. I'll add like half the bottle of this. All right, y'all, so I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful because, let me, okay, let me get this paper towel. Let me, let me, I can't even talk, I'm nervous. Paper towel test again. Yeah, paper towel test is looking like it's not gonna be much different than like what the wig already is. I'm not hopeful, but that's all we got to work with. I only got that amount of dye, so let's just go ahead and do it. YOLO. Okay, here we go. And from what I saw in the videos, it's best to just like freaking go for it so that you can get like an even color because if you do it slowly, then it kind of like, it'll make like an ombre because all the dye is gonna get soaked up at the bottom. And then by the time you get to the top, it's gonna be like an ombre. So if you want an ombre, I guess you can do that, but I don't want an ombre. Okay, here goes nothing, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, I think I got water inside my gloves. Oh, it's hot. <gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I think maybe, maybe we're getting somewhere, maybe, maybe. Okay, you gotta dunk and dip and spread and dunk and dip and spread to make sure you're getting all the hair. Soaking up all the dye. Dunk and dip and spread. Okay, wait, it kinda looks good. This might be okay though, I don't know. I wish I could have got some of the other color that I see people using, which is the French cognac. I think it's number like 60 or something, but they were all sold out online on Amazon. I'm just trying to let this like soak up as much color as possible because I want it to get like as dark as possible. I mean, I mean, we might, we might have something here. I just feel like it's still pretty orange. Please ignore the fact that I literally have dirty dishes in this side of the sink. We're not gonna look at that. I'm gonna take some nice conditioner and just rinse. Well, let me just rinse the wig a little bit with cold water. Okay. Rinse with cold water. And we dump this dye water out. Okay, I wanted to bring her with the conditioner still on and everything back onto the head so I can really see what we working with. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. She's still pretty orange. Yeah, I feel like it's still gonna be too much of a vibrant orange. I feel like I'm gonna have to dye it again. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, like how it looks right now while it's soaking wet is pretty much the color that I want, but I know it's gonna be lighter when it's dry. And then I'm also looking at like the front top part looks a little bit more orange and like a little too vibrant. So yeah, again, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but with it being soaking wet, this is what we got. Definitely an improvement from where we started. It's definitely looking more like a natural ginger color. Maybe not completely natural yet. I'm gonna let this conditioner sit for like 10 minutes, then I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out and put her back on here to air dry. And I'll probably just let it air dry overnight so I can come back and see what the color really, really looks like when it's fully dry. And then from there, I'll be able to decide if I like it or if I need to dye it again. Okay, so it is the next day. She is mostly air dry, so we can get a much better look at the true color result now. So this is what it's looking like. I think it actually turned out a lot better than what I was expecting. I think it's definitely getting at least close to like a natural ginger color. I would say, you know, she could be toned down a little bit to make it look more natural. Here's what it looks like in natural light. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely still pretty bright. The dye went on pretty evenly though. Like the watercolor method worked really well. I just kind of feel like it's still pretty orange and it's still pretty bright. I don't know if I should, you know, make it darker, make it a little bit more brown, a little bit more like 
on the red brown side of things rather than the orange side of things. Okay guys, uh, by the way, I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday, don't judge me, but um, after some contemplation, after staring at this wig for like an hour, I was like, you know what? I think I do wanna do something else to it before I install it. I tried it on, I plopped it on my head, and I was like, I don't know, I feel like it's still too orange. This picture was my original inspiration, and I feel like I actually got pretty close to that, but this picture is kind of what I'm going for now that I've like seen what this looks like. I'm like, mm, I don't know if this is really for my skin tone. And so I might regret this because this is kind of a look as is and I may end up just messing this up <laughs> with what I'm about to do. But I went to Sally Beauty since like I said, I wasn't able to get my hands on any more of this brand. Like the color that I really need in this brand is sold out. Can't find it anywhere. So I went to Sally Beauty to get something else. I ended up getting two colors that I'm gonna try and mix together. I got this Ion semi-permanent hot red color and then I got this Clairol light reddish brown color. This is what we have to work with. So, I also think I'm gonna just dip a little test strip first before I do the whole wig. But the first thing I gotta do regardless is get our hot water again. Okay, so don't mind the noise in the background. It is a Saturday and Zaya's playing and watching TV and stuff. But I have my hot water here. I did like a little bit less water than last time just cause, I don't know, I felt like maybe I had too much water last time and that's part of the reason why the color didn't come out as like dark. I felt like the more water you have, the more you're diluting the color. So I did a little bit less water. I have no idea what I'm doing as far as mixing these colors because I just have no idea how they're gonna mix together and how it's gonna look. But I'm just gonna kind of do equal parts of each one, I guess. Although the paper towel test last time, I don't know if it really gave me an accurate look at. Okay, compared to last time, I would say it looks similar, but a little bit more red, but I think I could put more red and more brown into this. Okay, yeah, it's definitely darker and a little bit more reddish brownish. Okay, I guess let me do like a little test strip. Like I'm gonna take some hair from the underneath, like very back of the wig. I feel like this is good though. It still has the oranginess showing through, but it just, it looks like it, it did what I wanted it to do, which make it like a little darker, a little bit more red, a little bit more brown. I don't know if y'all could tell. I'm gonna go ahead and do like the half and half situation. So I'm leaving the bottom half like this. I'm gonna tie it up out the way. Only gonna dip the top half. Now we rinse with cold water. Okay, I think that was a good decision. I think I am gonna like it a little bit more now because it is going more in the reddish brownish direction, but it's still, you know, orange, it's still ginger. I think what I'm gonna do is actually try to bleach these knots. I don't know if y'all could see right here at the hairline, those little black dots. Okay, so I'm just mixing up some bleach. I'm making it nice and thick. So not too much developer and just mixing that until it's smooth, but you see how thick it is. That's because you don't want it to be runny for bleaching knots. Honestly, I've only bleached knots on a wig a few times. It's not something that I normally do because normally I'm like, eh, I can make it work without doing this step. But this step does really, you know, add that little extra, extraness to the realistic effect of the hairline. So I laid the wig like on its back. So this is the inside of the wig. You got the inside of the hairline here. I clipped the hair back out of the way just so I don't get bleach on any of like the little baby hairs. And then I am going to very, very carefully take some of this thick bleach and just start applying it to the inside of the lace. You can see the bleach right here is just barely pushing through the lace, but it's not like pushing so far through that it's getting all over the hair on this side. 
that's what you want. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. I just kind of wanted to get the main areas where I saw the most like black knots. So hopefully this helps a little bit with blending the hairline into my skin basically. I'm gonna leave this on for probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna watch it. Okay, it's been about 25, 30 minutes. I think it's been long enough. I hope it's been long enough. This is with 40 volume developer, so it should be good. It's hard to tell, but hopefully it at least did a little something something. I'm gonna rinse it out. Can y'all see that? How it's just kind of more seamless at the hairline now. I am going to condition this wig again. Let it sit again for like 10 minutes at least. Okay, so it's fully saturated in conditioner. I will be back when it's time to install and style it and whatnot. Okay, she has been conditioned and rinsed. Now I'm just gonna towel dry as much as possible to try to get as much of the moisture out and then I will just have to blow dry because I'm ready to install her right now. We don't have time to air dry. Okay, so I towel dried her. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this repair and protect spray. Kind of like a leave-in conditioner, heat protectant, seven in one situation. And I'm gonna brush her out. See, now she's giving, she's giving paprika, she's giving cayenne pepper, whereas before she was giving a little bit more turmeric, you know? <laughs> okay, so what I actually did is I made a middle part, but then I pushed all the hair kind of backwards. Like it's still in a middle part, but it's like all pushed back in the front. And I'm gonna actually put some setting foam on it. This is Lotta Body. This is what I use um, this foaming mousse whenever I do my finger waves too. And I'm actually gonna dry it kind of pushed back like this. This will end up giving me more volume in the front when I'm done, hopefully. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I am going to put her under my hoodie dryer and start letting her dry while I prep my wig cap and everything. That way she can start to dry while I prep my wig cap and we can multitask. I probably will still have to, you know, I'm still gonna have to blow dry the bottom part and stuff, but at least that'll kind of like get it going. Okay, so for the install to prep my hair, since my hair is so short, all I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna split my hair down the middle and slick it down with some gel. And then I'm gonna be doing the bald cap method. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So let me just slick my hair down. Okay, so my hair is super slicked and gelled down. I slicked it like backwards this way so none of my hair would like be in the mix. Now I'm going to take my wig cap. I'm going to literally cut eye holes so I can see. <laughs> and then cut ear holes. Eye holes, ear holes, and then just making sure everything is pushed back. Okay, got to be free spray. I'm gonna spray the perimeter. Okay, so I sprayed like an inch back into my hair and like half an inch onto my skin. That whole chunk with this. Then you gotta dry it down. All right, so I dried it down, cut off all the excess. So it's just like this. I kind of messed up this part, but it's okay. And then I need to put some makeup on it. I have this powder foundation. You want to look bald, bald. That's how you know you got it good. <laughs> okay, so my little hack definitely helped. It's like, you know, about halfway dry. It definitely helped to like get it somewhat dry. It's not fully dry. I'm still gonna have to blow dry it, but it did a little something. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some of this uh, Chi Silk Infusion Serum. so thick, but I think I got her mostly dry. She is so thick. I like the color though. I think I got it mostly dry. So now it is time to apply the got to be around the perimeter to go ahead and glue her down. Then I'm gonna kind of dry that down 
a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with another layer. Okay, I'm gonna take it from the back and get that middle part on there real good. <laughs> it's on there we need to fix her up so like all these little hairs that are kind of like just going every which away we gotta like unpeel them okay since this is just got to be it wipes off with like warm water so i'm just taking one of these and i'm just gonna put warm water on it to kind of clean up the excess All this hair, I feel like, um, what's the girl from the Disney movie? What's the Disney princess with the red hair? Ariel? No. Orange? Yes, Merida. Merida. I feel like Merida right now. If I were to curl this hair real tight, woof, it's giving Merida. I like the color though. I like the color. I, it was definitely a good move. I do like having both. I think that turned out cool. The lighting is not great in here, so I don't know how much y'all can really see. So I think it is cool to have the brighter orange underneath, but if I would have just left it with just this, I don't think I would have liked it. I definitely like this top color a lot more since I added the red and stuff. So now I have to style all this hair and this wig is so thick. This is like a 300% density wig. I wanna like cut layers into it and maybe cut it to be about like here. And then I wanna do big barrel curls. Ugh. It's gonna take like two hours. Okie dokie, I went and did my makeup and everything and this is pretty much the final look. I feel like I could have done a better job of styling it and like getting the bang to lay right. I always kind of suck at that. Like I can get one side and I can't really get the other side as well. Also, I was really exaggerating about the thickness of this wig. I think it's just when it's blown out, it's like super fluffy and frizzy. So it feels a lot thicker than what it is. Cause now that I've styled it, it definitely has like more of a normal density to it. It's not like super, super thick, but it's like a good natural thickness. This is the look, I like it. Wow, did I, did I just do something? Okay, I kind of did that. I like it. I was worried. I was really worried, but I like it. I think it turned out cute. Okay, let me let me pose without touching it so y'all can really see. What do y'all think? Comment down below. Also, let me know if y'all would like to see more wig transformation, wig styling, wig installing, wig dyeing videos. Like I said, I've kind of taken a break from doing wig videos, but if you're still interested in that, let me know and I can try to do more of them. Also, if you have any specific requests for types of wigs or colors or styles that you haven't seen me do before, definitely leave your requests down below as well. But that's all I have for this video with this wig, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.